shame. Oh, thank you. Thank you for letting me know. I'm sad. What? That guard I told you about? The one who saw me switching the fencing saws? It seems he's tragically ended his own life. Just as I told you he would. My God, how do you live with yourself? People do what they must. I should also tell you how serious I am about removing that woman from Richard's life. And of course, Olivia, accidents can happen to anyone. Is that a threat? You never were much of a fighter, were you? It's the first sign of conflict. You crumble and slink away like a mouse. Richard, Richard always liked fighters. Perhaps that's what he saw in Catherine. Or maybe... Maybe you just don't want him badly enough. Because when you want something, Olivia, when you really want something with your whole being, you fight for it. Deep down, you... You really don't care. That's not true. I care. I love him very much. Then why didn't you ever think about what this was doing to Richard? What it was like for him to travel down that same miserable road with the woman worried about everybody else. What about Richard? What about you? Is, is it okay for both of you to hurt so long as no one else gets hurt in the process? No, it's not because right. Because when you want something, <laughs> Olivia, sometimes you have to fight hard and dirty. I, but th there has to be some other way. There has to be some other way we can do this. Well, yes, yes, there is. We can just let her have him. No, no, she can't have him. I have worked too hard to win him over. I, I have spent so many nights sitting silently by, full of love for him, when all he could do was talk about her. She should never have come back. She caused so much pain years ago when she left, and it's going to be even worse if she stays for Richard, for me. For everyone. You're right. For everyone. So... No other choice, is there? Okay. Okay, Edmund. I'll do it. I'll help you. What is it you want me to do? I've told you. It's really quite simple. Get close to Reva. Regain her trust. And on the night of the mass ball? That's right. At the ball, with hundreds of people in the palace at attendance, we'll be publicly and loudly enjoying ourselves when Reva has her tragic accident. Oh, poor Richard. He'll mourn the loss of his beloved Catherine all over again. And you, you, my dear, will be there to pick up the pieces just as before. And the country, oh, the world, will be a better place, much better place. A toast. To the future of San Cristobal. Suddenly, it's looking very bright. You know, I think this will be the best master ball we've had yet. Richard will learn about the guard's tragic suicide. And, of course, the note he left behind confessing to Reva's near-fatal accident. And what if Richard suspects that something is not right? But everything is right, my dear. The threat to Reva has been lifted, which will put Richard's mind at rest, allowing them both to drop their defenses. And while they're busying themselves, trying to remember what happened to Jonathan, you and I will be busy trying to dethrone Princess Catherine. Out with the old, in with the new. Mm. You make it all sound like a fairy tale, Edmund, but sometimes things don't go according to plan. We'll all live happily ever after, except for the evil Princess Catherine, who will be banished outside of the kingdom. As it should be, right? Right. This really... This really is for the best, Olivia. That woman will destroy Richard. We can't 
let her do that. Come on. I think that's about enough for the evening. Good night, Libby. Sleep tight. Never find out what happened to him.